Morning guys, YouTube people, world, everywhere. So today I got plan. I'm gonna test this thing out. So um I posted a video yesterday when I was installing these. Uh put a shop vac, vacuum cleaner, whatever, on the uh fill port. You know, took the fill cap off, put a vacuum there. My wife was holding the vacuum over it. Um, yeah, and then pulled the drain plug, and uh, didn't didn't drip a single drop of oil. Some people on Instagram post a video. I post a video on Instagram. Some people don't believe me that it worked, but it did. Go under here. Let's see if it's leaking. I don't think it is. Um, oh. Oh, is it leaking? I can't really tell. It does look like it's leaking. Unless it's just the oil from uh, that I put on there yesterday. But I'm going to pull that cap off. I'm going to go drive it for a little bit and uh, go get some fuel and uh, get it warmed up. I'm going to change the oil. And this beast because it needs it. So, it does look like it's leaking though. Let me go check the one on the truck. <coughs> anyway, that one looks like it's leaking. Let's see if this one looks like it's leaking. <coughs> oh boy. Oh, that one's dry. Where's that? Where's that? Where are you at? Oh, right there. That one looks pretty dry. Um, so I'm gonna go under there. I'm gonna pull the cap. Let me just go under there. I'll get dirty for you guys. Just pull this little cap. See no oil. I did put grease on this one on the O-ring, as you can see. Is dry. <clears throat> so I don't know what the deal is with the one with the Audi. Maybe I didn't tighten it enough. Oh jeez. Oh, um, the Audi does look like it's leaking. So anyway, um, let me go. I'm gonna go get some fuel in the Audi. And uh, come back, I'm going to do an oil change and uh, show you how this little thing works. I'm going to pull that cap off on camera, see if it's leaking through. If it's leaking through, I'm going to call this company and tell them they, they got a faulty part. <clears throat> the Dodge one seems to be working fine. But uh, maybe I did something to this one, I don't know yet. I don't want to pull that drain plug or the cap. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what's going on with that one. Maybe I didn't tighten it enough. But uh, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure I did. So anyway, let me go get some fuel, come back, pull the car up. And uh, I'm hoping to just be able to stick the drain pan under there and then drain the oil without even putting the jack. If I could do that, then uh, this thing is worth every 38 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So, all right, let me go do that and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, 
just got back. Temperature's hot. Fuel's up. Temperature's good. So this is supposed to be a uh, basically a no tool oil change. So just a rag. A rag in the adapter is pretty much all you need in this. Let's find out. Let's find out. Find out together. Got the adapter. And I got a rag. Let's go under there. Let's go check it out. Undo the oil cap so that I can flow. This is live, people, live. There's the little chingus. Wipe it. I'm hoping that's just oil from from when I put a bunch of oil on it, but just in case. Well, that's dry inside. So I'm thinking it's just oil that I put on it around it. So, it's hard to see it. Let me lighten it up. Oh man, my rag just went in there. <sighs> what the freak is that noise? Okay, here we go. Throwing the hose in there. Taking this freaking thing. Gotta find out where it goes. And... Push it in and twist it. And there you go. Oil coming out. It's kind of hose is kind of kinked, but it's working. <clears throat> See, oil's coming out. Oil's hot, dirty, nasty. If we want to stop it, I should pull it out. <clears throat> and the oil is hot. So I'm going to stick it back in there and just let it do its thing. Let it drain. Chicken, 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 wang. <clears throat> so I'll stick a, after it's all drained and everything, we'll stick a wrench on here. Tighten this down a little bit more. See if maybe that was the cause. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back, I guess. So, pretty simple. Drain plug. Oh, drain, drain pan with a drain hose, drain cap, a rag, a super hot exhaust. No jack. Oh, geez. No jack and no tools. Awesome, the way I like it. It's awesome. So I'll pop that oil filter. You do need a tool for the oil filter. I can't remember what size it is. I always just use I just use a crescent wrench. So <sighs> hold on, my hands are have oil all over them. Oil change. Here you go for the guy that commented my last oil change said all I did was walk around talking a bunch of nonsense so you just pull this cap off pull this engine thing off set this aside 
side. Right there. That's your oil filter. Is right in here. Um, just take this. Careful and just turn it nice and slow. And it says on there, replace the O-ring. It tells you 35, 35 newton meters of torque to tighten it. So, um, I guess I could probably go tell you guys exactly what size it is, but it doesn't really matter to me. I just use a, a big crescent wrench. So, that's pretty much it. Then you'll need a rag. I just pop it out. Once it's all unthreaded, I pop it out and I let it sit like that to drain the rest in there. And then it'll drain out the bottom. So, the only thing I do notice with these uh, stall bus valves so far is they don't allow it to drain as fast so it comes out but so I'll probably just let it sit out here for about 15 minutes um, and just let it drain do its thing and uh, go from there so but yeah I'll probably go inside get some break fast and uh, and then I'll come back out, I'll change the filter, and then I'll add oil. So, also, because apparently I don't tell people anything, so my comments, people saying it's a waste of time. It's the oil I use, the Motul 8100 X Clean Plus C3. And it is approved for the Volkswagen BW 50400 and then 50700 50700. Um, so, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five gallons of it um, because I buy it in bulk because it's a lot cheaper. If I were to buy this, I think this is like 60 bucks. Or if I buy four gallons, it's like 140 bucks. So it does use, I believe, nine quarts. So a gallon is four quarts, I believe. Oh, so this is a one point. Oh, this is bigger than a gallon. So it's 1.32 gallons per bottle. So it's five liters, five quarts. So that's five quarts. This is be ten quarts. So and I think it uses nine quarts of that. You can use this or the liquid Molly. I'd recommend the liquid Molly. Um, it's just hard to find the liquid Molly for me, and uh, it's hard to get the liquid Molly. Every time I look for it on eBay, because I shop on eBay, um, I can never find it. I can find it. But I can only find it by the gallon and no bulk gallons. So, anyway, I'll be back once this is all drained and all good. Make you guys happy. Long video for that one guy. Oh, also, this is the filter I buy. EcoGuard X10234. Um, I guess it's made by Pennzoil. Pure later Valvoline Wicks. Oh, it says Fram Mighty the Performax Promotive Pennzoil Pure Later Valvoline Wicks. So I don't know what that means, but it has all those names on it. So I'm assuming that frame or whoever whoever it is makes a bunch of different filters for different companies <clears throat> but that's the filter I use because I buy those in bulk also um, had seen good reviews on them and everything 
So, uh, yeah, that's also the filter. Just want to let you know, filter, Eco Guard. So, all right, I'll be back once it's all finished draining. All right, guys, I let it drain for about 10 or 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, it's all the oil. Oops. Oil's all out. And I did uh, go back under there and put a wrench on it. I got about, I don't know, maybe eighth of a turn. Um, so maybe I just didn't tighten it all the way. I'm hoping that's the case. So, anyway, on with the filter. Let's see if I can't set you guys up right there. Just get a rag. Got the filter. Take the filter out. Oh, just wipe down the housing. Man, this freaking thing's hot. And then, I don't know if you can see or not. Might be too bright. So, basically I just take this filter, put a rag down, like that, because when you pull this filter out, all kinds of oil and crap's going to leak everywhere. So, let's see. Put the rag like that. <clears throat> pull that filter out like that. So I'll take the new filter, the O-ring out. Um, just set the O-ring filter somewhere. Take this old filter and stick it in the bag. And then you can recycle it. It's kind of neat and convenient. Um, then I take the O-ring off basically just spin it. I don't know if you saw how I did that. I just take it, I take the o ring and I squeeze it this way so that it comes up here. It comes up here, and then I'll just grab it and pull it off. Um, take the new one, stick some oil on it that's all over your hand. Go down here and get some more oil if you want. And slide it on. You can make sure you get it in the right groove, which is the top groove, all the way up here. As you'll see, that's where the end of the threads are. And then the o ring goes right in there. Take the new filter. Let me, uh, Wipe my hands real quick. So I can grab that camera. You can take the new filter and you can stick it in here like this. And squash it in there. And that way it spins. Then you just gotta find its spot, its home, which is in there somewhere. Start threading it, it'll catch. So you can hand tighten it to a certain spot. And then you have to use the, the wrench to wipe everything down. Oh, she's. Use this. Just make sure that it, that crisp wrench is tight in there. Just tighten it. it says to 30, 35 newton meters, which is uh, 1,000 foot pounds. No, I don't. I don't know what it is, but basically, you just don't want to tighten it too tight. I just tighten it till it's tight, and that's it. So, like right there. It can't go anymore. So 
Then I'll just add oil, get a funnel, add some oil, always wipe everything down, check everything out, make sure everything's still plugged in, give these a little, a little cleaning, a little, little bit of leftover oil residue on your hand, so they come off easy. These are where that little cover goes on. And, uh, yep. As you can see, ain't got no oil in there. No oil. Oh, almost forgot where it went. Alright, so let me get rid of this. Dispose of this. Let me get rid of the oil, clean the hose. I, gotta, I like to clean everything before I uh, add oil. So I'll be back. One little thing to add about these things. <clears throat> the hose can loop back into that little connector. And uh, you ain't got no mess. And just take it. Stick it in your little oil drawer or whatever, junk drawer. And just don't forget about it. So, anyway, like I said, there'll be links in the description. Alright guys. Alright people. Time to add the oil. So, this is the old oil. This is two and a half gallons. I don't even know if you can see in there. But, if you can see the sunlight. See where my finger is. So, my finger, I'm trying to look at both right now. Oh man, this crap's hot. Okay, my finger's right there. So as you can see, we're sitting at just under, just under the two gallon mark. So, we took out two gallons of oil. Keep in mind, two gallons is eight, eight quarts. Um, so eight quarts plus the oil filter, so you're looking at, I don't know, eight point something, eight and a quarter quarts or something like that, and it was low, it did use a little bit of oil in the, uh, 6,000 miles I used it, so what was in this one was four quarts, so it was up to this line right there, so there was four quarts, and there's five quarts, so that's nine quarts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add add this one. Basically till I'm almost done. I believe uh the book says it's eight point seven quarts with a with an oil filter. So I'll go ahead and try to do this one handed without spilling any. So I'll add most of this. Probably like 95%. I'll start it. 90%. Start it. Run it. Check the oil. And then uh, top it off with whatever else I need. I'm shaking like crazy. This is heavy. So, anyway. Um, just when you're in under the hood, just check stuff. Look at stuff. It looks like I have... Right in there, this tube or something, one of these clamps, looks like it's not holding, it's my boost clamps, looks like it's not holding tight, I think it's that little clamp on one next to the threaded one, but uh, just check stuff out, check everything when you're under here. How much I got left in here? Okay, a little over half quart. So I'm gonna fire it up, run it, see what it does. Um, take this, and this oil does get black very, very quickly because of all the EGR crap all over it. So. That's all done, that's all done. Grab the key. So I'm gonna start it. I'll show you guys the process of starting it and resetting the P1 
computer. Fire me up. Okay. So I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit. Enough time for me to reset the Chingadera. So on this car, you'll go to car, which it takes a little bit to go to. So we'll go to car, settings, settings and checks, tire pressure monitoring. I want to store the pressure because I just adjusted it. So okay, next. So service intervals it says so I accidentally reset it when I did my inspection. I did an inspection and I accidentally reset all of them. So I'm going to go down here, reset oil change interval. Yes. Oh, 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 don't, don't play the music. Don't play the music. Okay. Next oil change, 10,000 miles or 365 days. So, oops. Anyway. Go to menu. So anyway, I'm gonna shut it off, kill it, and uh, let it sit for a little bit. Check it out. Make sure it's all good. And uh, that's pretty much it for an oil change in the Audi. Um, I know I did a video before, but I guess the guys, somebody commented saying that walking around, talking about nonsense, which I do anyway which give me a thumbs up because I do do that talk about nothing um, but anyway uh, he gave me a thumbs down and he said You're walking around with a camera in your face talking about a bunch of nonsense a stupid waste of my time but anyway I thought it didn't all change but anyway here's the oil change for you buddy <laughs> so anyway with the uh, stall bus oil quick drain plug installed so all right guys that's gonna be it for this video um comment below subscribe do what you guys do you guys stay safe out there um stay safe and stay real and stay true all right guys thanks for watching later